subscription in Australia. Uh, sorry, people on the other side of the planet. This is our grocery subscription. You get so many other choices. Uh, uh, the first things that I see in here are two no sugar added, one of which is 99% sugar free, probably because it has something like xylitol in it or something. Oh yes, it does. It must have because it says excessive consumption may have a laxative effect. It has erythritol, which is like xylitol, just a different one. This is apparently in Tahitian lime with dark chocolate, which sounds really interesting. And then there's this other one, which is coconut delight. So we might uh, have a little tasty taste. Tasty taste? No, like I already had chocolate before the video's done. Disgusting. So that's the coconut one. It's like chocolate. It is actually real chocolate, by the way. It tastes like it's the texture. It's like coconut as well. Yeah, it's got bits of coconut in it. And this is the lime. You can smell the lime. It's also dark chocolate. eating size, which my mother is going to love, is 200 Tetley tea bags. 200. They sent us 200 Tetley tea bags. I don't even buy the 200 books when I buy tea bags. I buy like 100. But we now have 200 of them. So mum will be happy because she drinks tea like 10 times a day. Uh, this one here we're just going to eat all of. This is the Cadbury's Dark Milk. This is basically a chocolate that is um, sort of like half dark, half chocolate, like half milk chocolate. So it's not quite as dark as dark chocolate. Probably not quite as bitter as dark chocolate normally is. She's the one who does all the washing. This is Dr. Beckman's Colour and Dirt Collector. Prevent colour runs. Wash mixed colours with confidence. Um, yeah, so it's basically a thing that you put in the wash with the other stuff. Particularly if you have something that's like brand new and really bright in colour. To help it from colouring everything else. So that's kind of cool. Can't complain about that. Um, there's something here which looks like it'll be great for my hair because um, you know it's pretty short at the moment uh, this is called urban or urbane sorry urbane because it's got an e on the end urbane mass pliable putty suitable for shorter hair stronghold matte finish and that is a full size of that product we could both use that that's what it looks like <coughs> But yes, um, there's lots of people in this house who could use that in their hair, so that's cool. That's a useful one. Everyone in our family can use it except for the dog. Um, not too many people in the house can use this product currently. The Tony and Guy Thin Elastic and Bobby Pin uh, combo in uh, brown. But I might give these ones to my daughter to give to her best friend who has brown hair. Very long brown hair, by the Very way. long brown hair, by the way. So she might find those very useful. What do you reckon, Ebony? You that'll, reckon? Be, that'll be a birthday gift to her uh, next year. Uh, probably before that. Ooh, this will be good for me, too. It's like they almost knew me. 
which is funny because they don't really. Uh, this I'm is, sure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. This is the Provoke Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo, which is, it's a purple shampoo um, to help, like when you've got bleached hair, which my hair is actually kind of bleached underneath, it stops it from looking too brassy. And I will be getting my hair bleached again, so. Um, oh my god. Now this is something that my son could have used the other day. This is Dr. Beckman's Carpet Stain Remover. Uh, it has a brush on top of it to help you brush it in, and it's a liquid. It's a two-in-one. Um, it's, yeah, it's a two-in-one. You leave it for three minutes and then uh, use a cloth to help remove the stain. Very cool. Um, I can't imagine that's particularly cheap product, so... Awesome. <laughs> Um, we have some dried cranberries, the crazy ones from Ocean Spray. These get eaten in this house all the time, so... Uh, okay, we have a 28 Black Acai sugar-free um, energy drink type thing. It has guarana in it. It also has caffeine. And you should have seen people just suddenly appear when I said energy drink. Brother stands in the corner just watching silently. Ooh, that tastes really nice. It's probably not good for you, but it tastes really nice. Have a, have a mouthful and then hand it to the boy standing over there. Oh my god, I, I want this. I know, but it's probably better for him. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, this box this month is, or this by month is friggin' amazing. It's got so much stuff in it. Uh, this is the Healthery's Kids Care Potato, Crunchy Potato and Rice Snack Sticks with 50% less fat than regular potato chips. These are cheese flavoured. And for those who care about these kind of things, this does not have monosodium glutamate or any other flavourings or artificial flavourings, I should say. I'm going to take the whole bag to my stomach on my neck. That's the kill. So it comes in, there's like eight of these in there. I don't generally eat potatoes, so I'm only going to have like a taste. Because I just wanted to show you what they look like. So they look like giant chips. And they taste exactly like cheese and bacon balls. They smell like Cheetos. Seriously, cheese and bacon balls. Not a word of a lie. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> cheese and bacon balls. For the win. To me. Those are fantastic. To me, they smell like cheese. Balls. As they're supposed to be cheese. And they taste like them as well. And they taste like those cheese balls that we get in Australia that are way redder than that and probably way worse for you. Those are good. Probably too good. Uh, we have from Uncle Toby's limited edition Aussie Faves Chewy Apple Crumble flavour. Uh, so basically a muesli bar. Pass your brother a potato stick. Yes, there's there's another. There, there are other family members. So this has um, coconut on top of it. Just looks like an oat muesli bar thing. And oh, right there, there's a piece of dried apple. Okay, eat that. It's food. They're not... Oh, they think they're gluten-free, too. Mm, 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 no, mm, mm, not gluten-free. Mm, mm. The I mean, potato... The potatoes. The potato stick things are not gluten-free. My mum's gluten-free, so... She wouldn't be able to eat pretty much any of the stuff that is in this box. Sorry, Mum. Um, and there's also from... These taste exactly like apple crumble. You can taste the cinnamon... 
tastes like apple crumble. Like the top of an apple crumble without very much apple. The crumble. It tastes like crumble. Um, nice and natural protein nut bars with three super seeds. Unfortunately, one of those super seeds is a peanut. I love peanuts. I love peanuts too, but peanuts are bad. Peanuts are bad. They're all bad. It, I mean, I, I try these things, but then someone else finishes them off because they're bad. Um, so that's what it looks like. That's chocolate, dark chocolate on the bottom of it. for the potato sticks brand they also have rice wheels and potato curls um, and all of them have got no preservatives artificial colors or added MSG which is great I think that's good um, they have a flyer thing for the well naturally no sugar chocolate um, including they also have sweet raspberry and raspberry crush and they also do bigger blocks i've seen them in the stores but i've never tried them because every time i see something that says it's sugar free um there's also another sample of the color catcher so not only did they give us a box of it they gave us a sample one as well which is kind of weird uh there is the magazine that comes with each one this one happens to be the new idea which is let's face it a not very well researched gossip magazine um if you like that kind of thing let's give it to james but at least this one is a more up-to-date one this is actually june 18th so it's not like completely out of date like all the ones that are in doctor surgeries and stuff like that and lastly i'm taking the best for last are two packets of Cadbury double choc chocolate cookies. These apparently have got soft centers and they recommend that you pop them in the microwave for 10 seconds. Probably to, probably to melt the chocolate chip. I'll put it in the microwave. There's, there's a hand over there. This is what they look like. They just look like a chocolate cookie. Can you not eat it? Oh, I'm going to eat the one that's coming out of the microwave. It's got a very chewy center. Yes, it has a chewy, they do claim to have a chewy center. These are not in any way healthy or anything. Sorry. Um, they're just cookies. It's very much crunchy. But they gave us two packets. And then you like hit the center of this and it's very So chewy. it's exactly how biscuits are supposed to be. Um, although they have called these cookies and most Australians would probably be quite uh, irritated by that because we call them biscuits. So this one has been <laughs> in the microwave and it just broke and went everywhere. Mm. 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 It's got nail mm. stuff all over it now. Mm. I should have given you the plate, shouldn't I? It tastes like a chocolate cookie. It just came out of the oven. Even for me, this is oven. I'll be taking one of those boxes. <laughs> you know how uh, people cook biscuits, cookies. That's that's how these taste like taste like freshly cooked ones. This is very sweet, even for me. It is incredibly sweet and incredibly rich, and I don't think you'd want to eat too many of them because um, you'd probably make yourself sick. Yeah, I already am So that was everything that was in our Lucas Paw Paw box this month. Um, I'm really impressed. There was some great value stuff in it. Um, and now I won't have to buy tea bags for months, which is great. Singular. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
If you want to subscribe, <coughs> click the button down there, leave us a thumbs up if you like tasting, unboxing type videos, and leave me a comment down below, try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya! And don't forget about me! <laughs>